Welcome back. Synthesizer V Studio 2 Pro is here, and it's cool. Let's take a look. First thing I'm going to do is go to the settings and update the shortcuts, because this is a new install. So the things I always kind of put to my own liking are transport. I like it when you hit the space bar and it goes back to where you last were, not to the beginning or anywhere else, or just in place. So swapping pause and stop functions is the way to do it. So I'm going to make this control space bar. And then stop, I'm going to make just space bar. And seek to the beginning, I'm going to click and make it home. And seek to end, I'm going to make it just end. I don't need the control. Seek to measure. This is interesting. I use the, the period because that way it's close to the numbers. Oh, before I go, I also like to set the loop over selected notes. Just click that and use L. That way, when I hit L, it selects, uh, takes my selection and just automatically loops it, which is kind of handy. Okay, that's all for now. So here we are, version 2, and it's a lot cooler looking than it used to be. And also, definitely, uh, everything's sort of been optimized, which is really great, plus all the new features. So I don't know if I'm going to get through everything in this video. So what I'm going to do is just kind of do like an example project with the new changes, because let's face it, that's what we want to do. We want to carry on working like we were working. Not surprisingly, I've started with an AI tune I generated on Suno, and the instrumentals on this track and the vocals on this track. Uh, everything's pretty much the same as it's always been and putting these in. Right, extracting the vocals, same technique. I mean, I have a, a load of voice here, Solaria, and uh, select the vocal clip I want to extract. And when I say extract notes from audio, I've changed these, but I think the default now is just round pitch to the near semitone. Generally speaking, yes, that's probably the easiest way to go. Uh, we do want the lyrics, why not, right? Even though it's probably going to make a mess of them, um, especially from the AI. I and mean, it's, yeah. Transfer pitch on the converted notes. Now, the way they've changed the system, you may or may not want to use this. And I'll show you why. I'm going to put it on and hit go. I already did this track in version one. Um, whether the, the detection is more accurate or not, I don't know. It's hard to tell because they handle it in different ways. The room keeps getting wider. Okay, so let's actually turn off the music and just listen to Solaria here. The room keeps getting wider. Let's have a listen to the original vocal. The room keeps getting wider. It's kind of struggled a little bit, probably because of all the artifacts, but regardless, I'm not particularly happy with it. So the differences now are the way we look at them when we're editing. You can see there's a whole bunch of little dots. I mean, let's zoom in even more. And these little dots are control points. The reality is, is there's a pitch line underneath here that the AI has calculated. And then doing this extraction, it's basically said, this is what the pitch is actually doing. So it's distorting that AI pitch with these little nodules. So like this little bit here at the end where she kind of warbles a bit. Getting wider. Wider, like that. You could literally just take those out. Getting wider. See, it's much better. And in fact, it probably needs a longer slope. Getting wider. This is the first thing that I discovered that is quite a bit different um so much more powerful definitely but you need to know and if you just want the ai like if i was to um select these and and try and use like um you know one of the pitch retakes or something like that it doesn't work in here what if i change it back here okay so if i do this and do a retake of just the pitch it barely changed let's undo that 
Right. And that's because all these little constraints are holding it back. So if I was to delete these, all of them, this is what the AI thinks this song should sound like. And let's have a quick listen. The room keeps getting wider. So it is actually pretty good. And if I now do, if I now change that and then I select these and hit pitch, now we're definitely getting a big change for the next take. And same with these new expression things. Like if I go to raw or to rigid, it flattens it out. The room keeps getting wider. Let's just leave it in the middle. The room keeps getting wider. Right. So if I undo those, here we go. When you've done an extraction from an audio file, if it's not to your liking, you really need to get rid of the dots in the area that's, that's not to your liking. Otherwise, the other tools can't function properly because these are like constraints. And then there's the other type of constraint, which is drawing your curve in there. Now I've got two types of constraints going on. So they're going to be fighting. So you've got your AI, then you've got the little control points distorting your AI, and then you've got your new kind of hand-drawn line distorting those two. So you've got three layers of things trying to control the pitch. The room keeps getting wider. So in this situation, I would basically get rid of the dots. And I would start again with my drawing here. And then we go. The room keeps getting wider. What's all this here? The room. This is the sustaining of the M right here. Why does it need all of this pitch stuff? Right? It doesn't. So let's just delete that and see what we're left with. Yeah, because the M's got less pitch information than the rest of the tone, it just drops out and then comes back for the next pitch. It was probably fine. The room keeps getting wider. And it is fine. It's kind of an excess of uh, stuff going on now, the way, the way the new system works. I would actually be inclined to, when I'm doing my extract notes, to not even bother with this, because all it's really doing is adding these conform points. And unless you've got a really clean vocal that you're, you're extracting, it's going to have a lot of gibberish because, you know, the AI quality. The room keeps getting wider. It's actually trying to pitch artifacts in the breathy kind of sound of, yeah, it's not working. Obviously, there's lots of other new cool features, one of which is already on display here, this phoneme timing. And it's also for level two, which is awesome. So I can see these words here. The room keeps getting wider. So if I thought the getting was a little too loud, I could just grab this and drop it down. And then it re-renders, looks more normal. The room keeps getting wider. And it also changes performance too. It's not just the volume. Listen, if I go up. The room keeps getting wider. Right, the voice is more a little more intense. The room keeps getting wider. The room keeps getting wider. Okay, and so that brings us to the other cool new feature, the uh, open mouth setting, which is uh, under here, just like um, the usuals. You got pitch deviation. You got a whole bunch of change to mouth opening, and. I was trying to figure this out, and from what I can tell, this is what it's detected where it thinks the mouth openings are, or closings, as it were. But it's not in, it's not put it on this, the sound at all. Like, it, and I haven't figured out if there's a way to convert that. Certainly not yet. It's early days, but um, what I've been doing is drawing, following that line. And so now I have basically what the AI is thinking the mouth opener and closing should be doing. All right, so let's have a listen to that. The room keeps getting wider. And I think it's doing what, exactly what we would expect. So I can bring the volume down on that wider. 
the room keeps getting wider. All right, and if I want to exaggerate that. The room keeps getting wider. Right, let's see if we can close her at mouth there. <laughs> the room keeps getting wider. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Okay, that's interesting. This dotted line is a, is adjusting to what I've done here. And when you use it as a guide, you're actually changing the state of it, right? You like affect it. If I was to go down here, what would it do? Yeah, see, it drops down. So it must actually be doing some mouth opening and closing, which is possibly why the tone changes so well now in the vocal. It must be doing that in the background, and then you've got the ability to exaggerate that or um, control it, if you like, by using your green line here. And you can do it with nodes as well, and the usual stuff where I can select these and do Alt-S to simplify it. And if you want to make an adjustment to a group like this and just move it up or down, you hold Shift to lock it, to constrain it up and down. Or conversely, if you wanted to move it side to side, you hold control and it can move side to side and not up and down. Just like when you're moving the notes around in the uh, piano roll. So yeah, so this mouth opening effect is pretty good. Not the best clip here. The room keeps getting wider. And she seems to be mispronouncing keeps. I'll figure that out at some point. Okay, so let's hide that. And, uh, oh, obviously, the other thing, of course, is you can extend so that if my E, as it were, of the keeps, which she's pronouncing wrong, if I was to extend that, may help. The room keeps getting wider. Oh, it still doesn't. And if I found that K a bit too abrupt, I could bring that down. The room keeps getting. It's taking some of the aggressor aggression off of that. Same with S's, wherever do we have some in here. The room keeps getting. I have a little one here, the S, so I could bring that down. The room keeps getting wider. And that er is a bit too loud, really, for the end. The room keeps getting wider. Yeah, nice. So the workflow is much improved, especially this phonemes editing. It's really pretty cool. And um, I love the new uh, parameter, the, the mouth opening parameter control. I've added the original Solaria that I did in version one. And right away, you can see, let's have a look at the, uh, this is the AI calculating these. It's quite a different take. You know, you can't really go on that. They're going to be different. So when you open your old projects, they're probably not going to sound exactly the same as they did. The first thing I noticed, though, was look at the actual waveform renderings here. See how that one's like just huge and the rest are quite small and then on the new one they're a little more consistent so you should be able to hear that difference so let's start with the old one the room keeps getting wider the room keeps getting wider to me that just seems more controlled and a little more natural i noticed that on wider getting a little breath pushing at the end of the words more apparent in the new version the room keeps getting wider the room keeps getting wider. The actual voice sounds a little more dull as well, or just overall, like it's been re-EQ'd or something. The speed improvement, I haven't talked about that yet, but the speed improvement is crazy. Let's go to the next line. There we go. Your words are getting clearer. Okay, some weirdness going on there. Let's see what we got. Have I got points? No, I don't. So I'm just going to select all of these and go to Modify and use the Reset Pitch. See how that did. Your words are getting clearer. I think I'm going to make a shortcut key for that. Let's go to Modify. Uh, reset Pitch. I'm going to hit. Let's use P. Why not? Okay, because that's something I'm probably going to use quite a bit. So do that. Hit P, back to where it should be. Your words are getting clearer. I'm happy with that vibrato, so I can just take that down. 
Your words are getting clearer. And notice what I did there. I stopped while I made the adjustment, but because it renders so quickly now, you can actually do it. You know, as soon as the loop's played through, if you make a change, it'll be ready for the next time it plays through, I think. So let's try it just with the expressions here. Let's do that. Your words are getting clearer. Your words are getting clearer. Your words are getting clearer. Just about. So that's a good thing. I mean, obviously, the more you can keep fluid, you basically just far more creative. So let's see what we got here. Your words are getting clearer. So if I want to boost words a little bit on that, I'm going to let it run. Your words are getting clearer. Draw the new one. Your words are getting clearer. And I'm Your push words clearer. are getting clearer. Your words are getting clearer. What? Undo. Your words are getting clearer. Definitely says clearer there. What happens when I draw this up? Your words are getting clearer. Yeah, I don't like that. Your mouth opening doesn't change your words that much. Okay, well, so there's something to be worn of. <laughs> Your words are getting clearer. Okay, so I'm going to let it run. Your words are getting clearer. And then the urds on words, are words are going to bring that clearer. down. Your words are getting clearer. Yeah, that's great. See, for adjusting levels and, and uh, possibly even the timing of your phonemes, like if I wanted to hold that er a little bit longer, so I'll let that run and I'll adjust it. Your words are getting clearer. Your words are getting clearer. Yeah, it worked. Probably not the best word to do it with. And the T and the getting wasn't very strong. I can see it there. Let's just boost that Your up. Your words are getting clearer. Your words are getting clearer. Yeah, I like it. Pretty awesome upgrade, if you ask me. It's certainly worth the money. Uh, it's kind of a drag that we have to pay for all the voices to be upgraded as well, but obviously they had to redo the library, so uh, fair enough. At the moment, I've only upgraded Solaria. I do have the, the free Liam voice. Let's have a listen to what he's doing here. Your words are getting clearer. Yeah, not bad. Some music. Your words are getting clearer. Your yeah, cool. So the other big thing to know is that although you can use your, your version one voices in here, none of the new features, like the cool features, are going to do anything. So for instance, if I... Your words are getting clearer. So I want to control the level of R here. So I'll take that A down and it redraws, but it didn't change. Your words are getting clearer. What about if I change the length? Might have done that. Let's get, let's exaggerate something here. Yeah. Okay. So changing the length seems to have worked, but not the level. Yeah. So I boosted that to full. It didn't do anything. The uh, mouth opening definitely doesn't work on this. So I can exaggerate that in a big way. Yeah, nothing happened. Your words are getting clearer. Again, no surprise there. And then these things, the re-pitching takes. Yeah, so these are working. Again, which should do because they're built on the same system. I don't know. The timing there does not support it. Oh, and that's the other thing. We get context help now, which is useful for a little while. <laughs> and then it gets annoying. Tombra. Your words are getting clearer. So that's all good. And I'm sure there's plenty more, but for now, this is just get you going again. Um, I hope you found some of it useful or all of it. And I'll see you soon. The room keeps getting wider.